What are the key kind of takeaways and components that we're talking about here? Let's start with Singapore. Yeah, the Singapore number is pretty horrific, 28.1. Uh, 33.3 the previous month was a historic low uh, for Bloomberg data going back to the year 2000. So 28.1, far in contraction territory. Of course, Singapore has been uh, extremely hard hit by the virus of late in the last month. It has 19,410 infections and 18 deaths. Of course, the majority of cases linked to those migrant workers living in cramped dormitories. However, you know, 80 percent of Singapore's work force is now working at home after, in early April, of course, Singapore authorities implemented its circuit breaker approach to containing uh, the virus. Uh, but the government is planning to get some uh, workplaces to reopen uh, from May 12th, especially industries important to the global supply chain. Uh, the Trade and Industry Minister just on Sunday said manufacturing sector, uh, which of course need should start making plans for the gradual reopening of the economy uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, but, you know, this is just a, a really uh, good indicator of, of how much uh, Singapore has been shut down pretty much by this virus and that circuit breaker. The official PMI for April on Monday fell to 44.7, the third month in a row below 50. So this number in the market, Singapore PMI, 28.1, pretty dire. And Steve, what about Hong Kong? Less hard hit by the virus in terms of cases than Singapore, but its economy sure suffering badly. Yeah, the economy obviously uh, suffering very badly. We got that GDP number uh, of what down 8.3 was it percent or 8.7 percent? I believe it was uh, the third straight quarter. 8.9 percent, excuse me, third straight quarter of contraction. But uh, Hong Kong, you know, has just over a thousand virus cases and four deaths, uh, and we're just getting news this week and yesterday uh, that the social distancing restrictions are starting to be lifted. Uh, gyms, bars, theaters will be allowed to reopen from Friday. Schools uh, now finally have a date for reopening, at least partially. Uh, but again, the economy has been triple hit by the U.S.-China trade war, by the seven months of protests last year, and now the coronavirus. March retail sales sinking 42 percent year over year, the second straight month of declines of more than 40 percent, and this is the word we use often here, unprecedented. Uh, so yes, the, the market PMI for April at 36.9, it's better than March, it's better than February, maybe indicating that there is some optimism that the containment efforts have worked here in Hong Kong because it has not been as hard hit as places like Singapore, but still the Singapore economy, as the financial secretary Paul Chan has, has mentioned, is in for a significant slump for the rest of this year.